How's it going? Uh, we just started this project, and I honestly don't really know what we're exactly trying to do with it yet or what we're expecting, so in the style of your first video, I thought that I would just talk about things that are going on with me right now. So it's incredibly late, and this video is being posted incredibly late, and I'm incredibly sorry for the poor quality of everything that's going to be going on with this, but I'm super excited about it. So uh, last night I went to prom with Ashley. It was incredible. It was a great night. We had a great time. Uh, got home at like 4.30 in the morning to her house, that is. And uh, that was it was crazy. I'm still running on like the four hours of sleep that I ended up getting. It was ridiculous. And uh, the thing is that after that, after I spent the morning with her, I ended up going over to my friend's house because she decided that she was going to just shave her head. Yeah, my friend Roxanne uh, cut off a bunch of her hair, which she's going to donate to Locks for Love or a similar organization. I don't remember off the top of my head which one at this point. And uh, she decided that's what she's going to do. And she shaved her head, and we were all incredibly supportive of it. And I thought that was really weird because there was a moment where I just sort of stepped back from everything that was going on. And I was like, sometimes it feels like only in your group of friends, only in the group of people that you know that certain things would happen, that certain things are going to happen. Like a girl's going to shave her head, and then you're all going to have a bonfire with a bunch of the work from your junior year that you're finally done with. Which, let me say, first of all, congratulations on graduating high school. I'm very proud of you, and I know that you're going to go on to do great things, and hopefully I'll be along for parts of that ride. And I'm not going to be there for all of it, but I mean, that's not the point. We're not meant to be friends who are always on top of each other. That's not what people are supposed to do. We're supposed to help each other when we can and step into each other's lives and step out. And sometimes our paths cross and sometimes they don't. And that's amazing. And I'm really tired. And I have no idea about the continuity of this video. And I have no idea about how exciting or interesting it may be because I'm just trying to get it all out and say all the words that need to be said. But I like this idea. I think it's going to be really fun. I think it is a lot of potential. And I'm very excited about what we can do with it in the future. And I think that's really cool. Um, what it comes down to a lot of the time for me is um, a lyric that was written by Dan Campbell of The Wonder Years, who I am um, a huge fan of, a huge admirer of. I think he's a very talented individual. Um, on their last full-length record that they put out, The Greatest Generation, the album closes with the song, I Just Want to Sell Out My Funeral. And one of the lyrics that is sort of one of the themes of the album is, I just want to be enough for everyone. And I think that's something that we all think about a lot. We just want to be enough for ourselves, for our friends, for our family. We want to be able to do everything that we can. And the fact of the matter is there isn't a lot of time, and we're not always going to have all the time that we want or all the time that we need to get all down all the things that we need to do or want to do. Oftentimes, we're gonna, some things are going to fall to the wayside and we're going to miss out on things, but as long as we accept the fact that we are enough for ourselves and enough for our friends and if we can be exactly what we want to be regardless of what it is that we may need to be sometimes that's what's most important Colin, I'll talk to you tomorrow